Hello, my lovely Libra Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. And if you're new to my channel, where have you been? Because we have been waiting for you for such a long time. Now, hit that like, that share, even subscribe, and better yet, come over to Instagram and let's be besties. So, let's get the lineup. The lineup is going to be a little bit of astrology. We're going to break it down into a yes or no question. We're going to be using a new deck if life was a board game, okay? Super, super cool cards. They're like Monopoly. Super fun energies coming through with these. And then we're going to break it down to singles, couples, and we're going to go into the signs. The signs have been off the chain. And then, of course, love, uh, uh, of course, money. So, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. What's up, fam? Let's jump into this energy. So we start off this month, we are on riding the coattails of the Venus retrograde in Leo, in my sign, 28 degrees, on the, on the degree of where my sun is posted at, right, right, right there. I have been feeling it like crazy. However, on the first, we had a full moon in Aquarius, nine degrees. There were some endings. There's some major relationship developments going on right now, um, especially with the nose changing from Aries and Libra. Now, Tar Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius felt this energy the most and will continue feeling them. On the eighth, we have the Lion's Gate. It's time to manifest, guys. It's time to create your best life ever. And on the 15th, Saturn semi-square Chiron. Saturn is four degrees Pisces with a little bit of tension, a 45 degree angle to that of 19 degrees Aries, the wounded healer. Big Daddy is trying to say, hey, boo, get out your own way and let's live our best life. It's time to heal. Get on this bus and let's ride it, okay? Also on that day, Juno enters into Leo. Juno is an asteroid named after the goddess of marriage protector of women who was married to Zeus okay and when Juno which is why we have so many June weddings um, is in the sign of Leo this is about respecting women it's about really honoring women you're hearing a lot about women standing up for their rights talking about who they are what they are and what they deserve it also thinks about the Barbie movie but this is also what you might be feeling in relationships that you're just like something's off just something's just not right and I need something different so pay attention to that now Please, 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 please take care of your immune system as we go into this month. Make sure that you're drinking your elderberry or you're taking elderberry, echinacea, golden seal. You're also taking lots of garlic, keeping your immune system high, water, um, working out, fruits and vegetables. Just pay attention to your health this month, okay? And don't let fear scare you. Now, 16th. New moon in a Leo, 23 degrees. Yes, we are changing, we are moving forward. This is a great time for setting goals, also working with your inner child, paying attention to those wounds going on inside of you and being around children. Now, I need to take some medicine. Every time I do these readings, my nose gets stuffy. Like, I think my allergies are flaring up. It's so hot here, y'all. Anyways, this is going to be in a tight square to Uranus, so be prepared for surprises. Like, anything can happen. Preventative medicine, preventative care, preventative, preventative, preventative. Just prevent, <laughs> just be proactive, okay? Now, on the 21st, this is a very important day. Mark your calendars, guys, because it's my birthday. I'll be turning 43. Yeah, baby. I am grown. I'm a grown-up now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'll be turning 43. I will be in Vegas. So if you want to leave in the comments where I should hang out, what I should do, let me know. Now, I do want to make a very special birthday shout out to this wonderful woman right here who I share a birthday with. Her name is Amakuka. She was my great grandmother. We used to watch Gunsmoke together. We used to hang out. She was like, I loved her so much. And since we're talking about generational healing and really working with those energies, you know, I want to say, like, I wish that she could have loved me the way my mother loved my my babies, you know. But we, we know better. We do better. Do not judge people who are unable to love you because they were they were not loved in that way. Because I know she loved me. She would be like, yeah, you could stay the night with me. And I know I got on her nerves because I'd be like, can I light your cigarette? Can I do this? Can I do that? Can we watch this? And I know... <laughs> I would stay before gymnastics practice and I would just be like, I love my grandma so much. She was my great grandmother. Absolutely adore her. I was two years old in this picture with my chili bowl haircut and um, I was her little princess. I like to believe that. All right. And so I want you to just honor your ancestors this month. Wish them happy birthdays if they had them. You know, it was Leo season. People were getting it on during Thanksgiving. You know, just enjoying their best life. Yeah. And that's little Ari. That's what I look like <laughs> as a little kid. Anyways, happy birthday, Grandma. 
and heaven i absolutely love you and i miss you and i hope you are doing well remember to work on your altars guys on the 23rd it is no other than a virgo season a yes big baby mercury is also going retrograde and will be there until the 14th of september now the 27th, Mars, this planet of action, is going into Libra. We're going to start weighing our options. We're going to start looking at the bigger picture. 28th, Uranus goes retrograde, 23 degrees Taurus. Be prepared. We're going to hear about some banking changes, some financial things, possibly food, the industry, all kinds of stuff going on. And on the 30th, we have our blue moon, full moon, super moon, close to super moon to Earth. Um in the sign of Pisces, seven degrees. Things are going well and going for us. Be prepared for big changes, guys. Preventative care, preventative care. So let's jump into this part of the read where we do a yes or no. I want you to, in your mind's eye to think about something you would like an answer to. I'm using the crystal ball oracle deck or pocket oracle, and let's see what you get. So for question number one, I'm going to say it's a no. We need more information before we go forward, more research, more development. And I also want to say pay attention to the full moon because it's right there. Now, for question number two, I'm going to say it's a shamebe because we need to listen to our intuition, especially around the new moon. Ancestral wisdom may be very, very important for you also. Trust your inner knowing as you're going forward this month. Now, with that being said, let's jump in and see. Neptune wants to play with you, baby. Pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to what you're thinking of. You might have a little bit of confusion of what needs to change, but you're very inspirational to others. You are inspiring everyone around you. People want to be around you. But this is about you also following your dreams and getting things started. You have your ancestral message is that of the earth. Where are you planning yourself to grow? What are you doing to... Um, Keep yourself grounded during all of this time. I'm telling you, you might also want to take up like um, buying a plant. Okay, I feel like if you buy a plant or if you start working with plant energy. And one thing that I like to do is I like to write down my goals and stuff. I like to use the elements and then or like my my desires, right? Manifestations and I'll burn them over a candle and then I get the ashes and then I bury them in my plant and then I water my plant. I name that plant, whatever that dream is. And I talk to that plant every day, harboring and bringing forward that energy. All right. Now your animal energy, or should I say insect, is that of the tarantula. You are at a crossroads, my friend. Okay. And you're really looking for your life purpose. Like what is this all about? And this is about trusting your intuition, trusting the infinite possibilities that you could have. Eight legs, the body of the eight, 888 eight, eight is going to be a great day for you to manifest what it is that you want. Moving forward, crawl into that space and do what you got to do. This is perseverance. This is patience and you got it. And remember all those little eyes, you can see it all coming. Now, when it comes to love, we're going to be using a beautiful deck that my friend Erica B gave me. We were laughing because apparently she's giving me like all my cards. It feels like I have like 13 decks because of her and we're using quite a bit of them today. But this is one of my favorite decks that she gave me. It's the Sacred Sites deck and I use it a lot in my past life readings and relationship readings and coaching readings because they give a lot of insight. This is a wonderful deck by Barbara McKeel Johnfrey and um... It just really gets into the nitty gritty of what we're going to be talking about. So as we're talking about love, since we're talking about love, you have pulled the one about healing trauma. Okay. And so we're going to talk about the past, the present and the potential. And so as we go through this, take the parts that resonate and leave the rest for others. So we have here reparations and we're focused. The area is in British Columbia, Canada. Now, Frog Mountain is in Slocon Valley in the West Kootenai is sacred to the sixth tribe. Do you sense that one or more of your ancestors suffered something that you have suffered and they went through something very powerful? Now, it talks about the salmon that, that swims upstream, okay? Things have been passed down the generations to you and you're longing for a sense of home and family. You're finding, you're, you're trying to find where you fit in, right? As with the spawning salmon, you're hoping your instincts lies within by returning home to regenerate through the waters of emotions and wisdom will finally be yours. It's time to understand your history. It's time for you to realize the story of love within your family. When you look at the relationships that we're supposed to be building healthy relationships on and we find out they're really not as healthy as we thought they were, that can help you understand where you stand with your relationships and where you want to be in love.
Now, in the middle world, you see the woman holding the, the baby. Look, it's like me and my grandma. Look, isn't that cute? That's so, like, symbolic. Oh, I'm gonna cry. Anyways, are you facing a challenge to your identity from the government, a social group, or an individual, or from a family member? When will it stop? It's time to make a stand and refuse to allow anyone to take what's yours. This card's power symbol is a sacred hoop shown radiating out the four directions. All right. And this is about you really making a full circle. It says call upon the first quarter of the earth to help you as you journey to your wholeness. This is about calling on all the elements to come through and guide you on the wheel of life. Now, the potential is up there at the top with this beautiful white wolf. So, after a terrible drought, the six people were ready to leave the land, and one of the elders went to pray for guidance. A frog appeared and told him that his people would be saved if they dug caves in the riverbanks. When the people retreated into the caves, the frogs offered themselves as food to sustain them. The last frog became frog mountain do you have a power animal to guide you through adversity the white wolf waits for you upon frog mountain and he asks you to keep your spirit alive and to trust your instincts let wolf teach you the value of treading your own path by listening to the animals the sinks elders did you can become a explore, an explorer rather than struggling to fit in it's time to travel it's time to go it's time to pursue yourself you are the lone wolf i don't know if y'all ever watched that turkey movie what's it called I don't remember what it was called, but it's like these two turkeys, and he's like, um, yo soy lobo, lobo solo, you know? And he's like hilarious. Anyways, it was a cute little cartoon back in the day. But you are going, and you're going on an adventure, and you're initiating this journey of love, but all of this falls down in your hands. This is about you creating what you want when it comes to your story of love so that you can push yourself forward and make those decisions, all right? You will be seeing a little a little snippet of what you can get this month. I am giving um, I'm giving my 30 minute reads for 44.44 instead of 77.77, and it explains on how to book it. All right, so let's use this new deck. I'm sorry, I had a little hair in my mouth. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Let's use this new deck. Let's see what's going on here. What can, this is for singles and couples. This is for all, all Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. You are at the Ace of Wands, initiating something new with passions and desire gardens. You are ready to make your garden grow, baby, because you found yourself now in Struggle Avenue. So you're pursuing something, you initiate it, and now you feel stuck. The Page of Cups is here to help you develop something creative moving forward when it comes to love. Um, but we're fo focused on the three of swords, the grief and sorrow way, which leads us to the king of swords. We're having to be logical as we move forward when it comes to love. A lot of us are focused on the higher fit, the higher love. We want something that means something to us, something that's going to help us grow and develop. The fifth could be very important for you, or it could have been very important as you're going through this. What does the Ace of Wands have for them? Justice. I also feel like the number 111 could be very important as you're dealing with love. I feel like you're ready to initiate something new and some of y'all feel stuck. The Knight of Swords is coming in. There might be a message coming in very quickly from someone. Somebody wants to give you a message. You've been struggling or should I send this message? Something of that nature. Let's see what we got here. We have the tree, the letter, and the woman. <laughs> and there's a lot of anxiety around this individual. Libra, you are the one with the anxiety because the mice is your card in this deck. However, this person that we're wanting to communicate with or wanting to communicate with us is petite. They have small features. Could be another Libra. They have nervous energy. They, um, they're they also very um, small, okay? Very small. They could work with health care or mental health. Now, the tree that comes in, this is somebody who is very, like, well built, okay, green eyes, um, they could be tall, Capricorn energy, and then we have Gemini energy coming in with the letter, tall, slender, and Taurus energy with the woman. 
a darker skinned woman, okay? Because there's a darker and a lighter one. Now, you thought this situation was over with, but now you're like, maybe, maybe I should make an offer, or maybe they're going to make an offer. But we're at the Two of Swords. We're indecisive of how we want to move forward. So here comes the King of Pentacles, provider, prosperity, and power. So you could be asking yourself, some of y'all are dealing with a tourist, like, can they provide this for me? Is this what I want? But why are we at the Three of Swords? Something that's over. So there's that three, 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 one, one, one. What's over? The Knight of Cups is bringing another offer. Like we feel like, oh my gosh, like what's going to happen? I need to make something happen. What are we going to do? And then here, watch me work. Somebody is having issues in their love life because they've been working too much or they are with somebody who works. And we're hoping to find our soulmate, our two of cups, because we want the hierophant love. And we're leaving everything behind for that higher love with the eight of cups. We want something new and something wonderful. It, what is one day this month that they may receive a very important phone call or message? The 15th. Okay, the 15th could be important. What is the 333 about? The 13th, okay? The 13th. There's something about the number 333, the tower. There could be something like a sudden splurge of information coming in, a big change. Some of y'all are also thinking if you should leave a relationship behind. This is a general reading. Some of y'all are very sad about things changing. Y'all had romantic feelings for someone. They did not reciprocate those feelings. And you're kind of like in a situation of like, okay, I need to ground my energy. I need to see where I want to do and what needs to be done. We're rewriting that story of love, okay? So... Let's go into our beautiful singles. You know what? I'm going to use this deck. We're going to use the Light Seers with the singles. What do we have being told to us in this situation? Definitely changing the story. We have the Death card coming out. Then we have the Wheel. So big things popping in this month because we're starting off with majors, right? And then there's a trip. There's a trip when we're trying to defend ourselves. We're moving forward. We don't care. We're having lots of communication, lots of like quick, quick communication, okay? And we have to be strong. Some of us could be dealing with the sign of Leo, okay? Now, we're also focused on doing the work. Some of y'all are going to meet somebody on a trip or meet somebody as you're traveling to go on a trip. That's beautiful energy. But we're really trying to change things. We're really trying to move forward. What does death want them to know? Justice. So I feel like this is like something has to end because you know what? Justice needs to be served. Justice has to be served. We're moving forward. No more being disappointed with love. No more being sad. No four of cups here. No more five of pentacles feeling cheated. And there's the tower moment. So we're moving on from a situation that we're trying to see it from a different perspective. We have either been in relationships where they're trying to hide us or they're nickel and diming us, you know, breadcrumbing. That's coming to a, an abrupt end with the tower. Give me more on the tower. There's the heart, okay, the man, and a social event. So there's a social event. That causes a major ending for someone, possibly around the 8th. There's a lot of 8s coming out for you. And 888 could be very big for you, okay? So I feel like there's a man. He has a very round face, strong Taurus energy or masculine energy coming through. They have a small, chubby little face. They're very Aquarian and Leo and Taurus energy. Doesn't have to be their sign. You're asked to a social event and something happens. Something major happens. What does the Nine of Wands signify here? The hangman. You are done holding on. You're going to put it all out there with the sun. You don't even care. You're ready to do this. The Eight of Wands is the Five of Swords. Let's talk about what you did. Let's talk about what happened. And now you can see me happy with someone else. So you could be dealing with a water sign who's very upset about you moving on and moving forward and they see you at a social event and they can't believe you moved on without them. Like, what were you thinking? Then I have the Knave of Cups offering you something at the end of the month. Be strong. Be strong. Get your Ace of Cups. 
Don't settle for something. What do the knaves want you to know? The ace of swords. Okay, look, some of y'all are also going to get a contract with work. Okay, a new contract is coming through for work. There's also this energy of quick communication. The ace of swords with the ace of wands. Good things are coming in for you at work. Now, the four of swords. We're healing from a, a situation. And we're moving towards the Ten of Pentacles. We want to be complete, full, and happy. So very interesting information is coming in for you. There's a lot with work. Show me more on this tower situation. Waiting patiently, the Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like you've kind of like moved on or you're wanting to move on. You've been waiting patiently for that to happen. Win or lose. Five of Swords. Okay? And you're going to take a risk. You're like, you know what? Look, this is what I want. If you don't want it, that's fine. But I'm going to keep on going. You're planning for your future, and you're going to go with, there's that Leo energy, the king of wands, that provides charm and authority, Libra, or someone who's very flirtatious with you and makes you feel important. Six of wands, they're going to help you move forward, because you're leaving the three of swords behind, because that sucks, okay? That's what it says, three of swords, five of cups. And the messenger of acting first and thinking later is the knight of wands. So I feel like you're going to have a situation where you're out in a social, like a social event or something like that. You're out, you're having a good time with a new person. The old person sees you. They have something to say. And it's not going to end well for that person because they made that choice to leave you out in the cold. And this is like justice, like blind justice is coming in. Things are being changed. You're planning for the future and you're moving on. And you're not dealing with this energy anymore. That situation is done and over with. And you're good. You're very, very good. And you're very happy moving on. Okay? So that's what I have coming in for you. Let's look at who's coming in for you. Who to keep your eye out for. Because we know who not to be with, right? Someone who was trying to keep you a secret. Somebody who only saw you when it was convenient for them. Somebody who only called you when they wanted something. And we're done with that energy and we're moving forward. So let's see. Give us a description of who's coming in for Libra. Who can Libra be on the lookout for? Who is this beautiful person that is around the corner for them? Let's see. We have young, strong, Gemini energy, great legs, very athletic then we have tall, possible green eyes, Capricorn energy, well built. Yeah. And then I nice legs. There's something about their legs. We have the anchor. So they're like bottom, like they have like a nice um, curvy hips, tan colored Capricorn um, energy again. And then Aquarius energy coming in. Brown hair, prominent tongue and powerful voice is coming in for you. So let's see here. What do we have here? More clues. So we have Gemini, Double Capricorn, and Aquarius coming in for you. Pay attention to the fist. The fist. The first. The first that already passed. The fifth. The eighth. And the eighteenth. Okay. Let's see. Clues. How will they know it's them? There's that spider energy and you had tarantula too. The 23rd could be very important, but let's also think about someone, you can meet them online because it says web design. It's someone who's very patient with communication too. Gender fluid, so this is somebody who, I feel like this is more about music. They could be a, they could be going to school for music or they could go to school. They could be going through an education. There's flowers, they love flowers. They love plants. Yeah, lots of online communication. You guys can meet online, okay? Very, very cool. Let's look at your oracle cards. Let's see what we got going on for you with that energy. And then we will be moving into our beautiful couples, okay? To our beautiful couples. Let's see here. What is their messages for relationship? We have patience is needed, okay? Clear negative energies from past relationships. Work on your heart chakra, there's a lot of envy, and I feel like that's why Archangel Michael is coming in, and he's like, let's clear that up, especially when you're in public events or when you're going out. And you may be taking a trip very soon, and they are thinking about you, whoever it is, and they've been thinking about you a lot. All right? This summer is about you. Work on your manifestations. All right? And they're ready to give you their heart. So... 
someone is jealous that you've moved on, but they had their chance, Boo Bear, and you got to do what you got to do, all right? So let's look at our beautiful couples. Let's see what we got going on for our couples. Um, let's go ahead and go with this Muse Tarot. We're going to use this deck right here. What do we have for our beautiful couples? We have here the first card, we have the higher fence. So we have someone who wants a higher love, something different. We're coming in with commitment. We're seeking help. If you see, like, this is a higher fence where she's going to her higher self or she's going to get help. Okay, then we have the five of voices because we are constantly in our head and there's that 55. We have got to get out of our mind. And then we have the lovers. So we are making the right decision. We're staying together and we're healing with the star. One more card. Let's see. And then here is that tower situation. Okay. So breakthrough healing, breakthrough healing. And then we have the muse of emotion, the queen of cups. Okay. Right here. So I think that's the, yeah, that has to be the queen. Let me make sure. I just need a little bit more of a confirmation because I'm reading this card right. Yeah, has to be. So with this energy, this is like the ruling energy is focusing on your heart. Whether they're Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces does not really matter. But this is about you really feeling yourself and knowing what's going on. Okay? Now, with that energy, no, it is the king. It is going to be the king. I don't like when <laughs> I lose the books to these. I'm just going to say it's the ruling emotion. It's a muse of emotion, okay? So let's clarify here. Let's see what's going on. So the Hierophant to the Five of Voices. Why are, why are we... We have seeked help in this situation before. Look, there's the star. We're healing. We're trying to move forward. That star energy is very strong because we're healing from something that is like toxic. Healing from a toxic situation. Healing from a toxic thing that stays in our head and keeps coming back. Whether this is an ex, whether this is a behavior, a financial decision, but it's something that keeps replaying. The lovers want you to know we've got to talk about it and talk about our hopes, our dreams, and our wishes. Because the king of swords is coming in with the star. Like we've got to fix this. And the King of Swords wants you to know we got to leave the past behind. we got to let that go because if we keep bringing it up, we're not going to make it. It's not going to make it. What does the Tower say? Temperance. A little bit each day. A little bit each day. And there's the Queen of Cups. So definitely dealing with our heart space, our center of our heart space. We have a situation we could be dealing with a sign of Aquarius and Capricorn. Um, a strong Taurus energy and we're moving forward and we're trying to break away from this and then it's interesting because we have the hierophant and what's clearing it is healing and the devil and so we're healing from bad habits healing from what's blocking us trying to move forward but we have to do it like a little at a time and we have to choose ourselves first the knave of cups comes over someone is very upset there is swords very upset with how you've changed or how this situation changed. They didn't see it coming. They didn't see you standing up for yourself. They didn't see you making a big difference about it because they thought they had it in the bag. So what is the devil with healing about? Strength. We have to be strong not to keep going back to the past, not reliving those things. We have to focus on the family with the Ten of Pentacles. The lover said wise counsel, wise decision, King of Swords, the Nine of Wands. We have to keep people from the past out of our relationships. And the Tower says starting stable, the Ace of Pentacles. We got to rebuild. We have to change this. And overall, the Nine of Cups wishes do come true. And so I feel like in order for you to make it this month, my friend, you have got to stop listening to people from the past, listening to that little voice in your head that tells you negative things about you and your relationship. What is it that you want? What is it that you need? And we've got to get rid of the ones who are trying to assert themselves, make themselves more important than what they really are. I'm going to pull on this tower moment. What is this tower about? By the tower. 16 and 19 may be important, okay? Definitely a building, a social event coming up. Lots of talk at the social event. The key to the situation, 
of the confusion, what's bringing this confusion, is a new beginning. We've got to start over. And once we do that, we heal with the stars and we spread more faith, more abundance. <sighs> Let's look at your beautiful oracle message and then we're going to go into the signs. Oracle message for Libra. What do we have going on for Libra? What do we have going on for Libra? Libra, abundance is coming in. Pay attention. Hostilities. Do not tell people how much money you have and focus on your creative energy. Abundance in your strategy is going to be important also. We are very hostile. Walk away. Walk away from any situation, any social setting that someone sets you off. And focus your creative energy on your relationship, not the drama. And I'm going to say walk away from anything that makes you want to punch a motherfucker out. All right. You might want to go toe to toe, but you ain't got to go. There's also legal situations that could be complicating things for you. There was something about a contract, I think, in your read. So, whoo, major decisions coming in with relationship. Okay. Now, let's go into the signs and let's see what we have here. We are going to have some fun through Aries. Aries to beautiful Pisces. What do we have for our wonderful Libras? Libra, you are the nine of wands. You're fighting and Aries is the wheel of fortune. Y'all could be fighting about a trip and it's the queen of swords as a solution. Supporter of the truth and protection. You have got to stick to the facts, my friend. Stick to the facts in this situation. Libra, you are the Knight of Wands. You're thinking about messaging somebody. Taurus says, come and get me. Justice will be served. Solution is the King of Wands. I would say mature communication if you're going to um, connect with him. Strength, you are at the Strength card, my friend. And Gemini is going to support you through it. Gemini is going to support you. Because it's been very, very hard for you, and they see you struggle, and they want to be, they want to help. All right, Libra, what do we have here? Libra, you have big changes, and Cancer is like, look, beautiful things can come from this. Wishes do come true. Let's work at it. Let's do this together. Okay, Libra, you are the Tower, and Leo is the Fool. There was a breakdown in communication, and Leo has left the building. Quick communication happened, and it's over. There's a lot of red in this situation, so it could have been a passionate situation. Libra, you are the Four of Wands, a happy home, and Virgo is the devil. What's going on? We need clarity of this. Um, Virgo is like making it a little bit difficult, maybe. Maybe some financial things are popping up. Libra, you're the Page of Pentacles. You're developing trust. And the other Libra is the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all are really focusing on growing. And there needs to be more lovemaking, not so much financials, okay? We have you as the moon, Libra, and Scorpio as the star. What's going on here? And the chariot, this is a powerful relationship. Y'all light each other up. You guys are going to probably get a new vehicle, go on a trip. Y'all are really enjoying yourselves, Libra and Scorpio. Libra, you are Perseverance Gardens with the Seven of Wands. You are definitely fighting for what you believe in. And Sag is the sun, shining bright. And the answer is the Emperor. Give them their crown. Enjoy the moment. Share the shine, boo. Libra, you are very stressed out. And um, Capricorn is the lovers. They love you. And you have to meet them where they're at, Aristocracy Avenue, okay? Six of Pentacles. You are the Hanged Man. And Aquarius is the Hierophant. Ooh! And this answers the Queen of Cups. Put a little love in your heart, boo. Make that offer. It could go very, very far. Libra, you are working. And Pisces is the Five of Swords. What's, what's going on between them? The Ace of Wands. I feel like you've really been working on yourself and trying to develop new things. And Pisces is like, why aren't you paying attention to me? I need more attention. So we will be right back with the beautiful Money Read. 
right, my lovely Libras, it is time to let something go, to move on and follow your passions when it comes to your finances. There is definitely an ending with the number 45 coming in as a nine. I feel like some of y'all may be leaving your career fields, trying something new and venturing out into what you really love to do. There you are as the emperor or you're dealing with a boss. You're coming through. There could have been a denial of a raise or finances for you. But there is a different offer coming in for you. And you're going to accept that offer with the full card moving forward and following your hopes and dreams and wishes with the Nine of Cups, which leads you to the Ten of Cups. Some of y'all might discover this on a trip or find this out when you're with the family. Now, the Emperor coming in wants you to know that there's a big change on the horizon. Big, big changes. You kind of felt this intuitively, like there was something going on financially. Some of y'all were talking to the Queen of Wands, or you are the Queen of Wands, meaning you want to be an entrepreneur, okay? Creating something new. The Knight of Cups brings in this tower moment for you, and then the Fool says, look, we are not hanging around waiting for you to see my worth. I'm initiating that with the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Cups said your offer wasn't good enough. So I'm going to go and make my magic happen. And I may have to move for this. I may have to go. But there's something new on the horizon. The Ten of Cups is really, really quick. There's an offer that comes in. It's everything you wanted and needed. And justice is served immediately for you with a work situation. I said for. For you. For you, okay? So let's look at this tower moment. What is this tower moment for our beautiful Libra? This is the high priestess. You know what's on the horizon. You saw this coming. You're going to make a major judgment. And we have the provider of logic and part knowledge. So we have the king of swords coming in. Now, I really feel like you're just like, look, I already know what y'all are going to do. I already know what's going to happen. So I'm going to take this new opportunity and I'm going to follow my hopes and dreams. And I know I need what's owed to me. You need to pay me up. Wishes do come true. You get the Nine of Cups twice, so it's going to be okay. But there's definitely a tower moment coming in for you. And you have to fight for what is yours. Because something major is changing in your finances. Someone could be losing their job, which causes them to like panic a little bit. But in the end, it leads you to kind of like um, follow your dreams and start your business and do what it is that you've been wanting to do. So we have the stars. The block. The foundation, confusion. So I feel like there was a lot of confusion spreading while you were blocked. And the key to that is going to be you working with your friends and starting a business possibly. Some of y'all are rereading your contracts, realizing that there's no room in growth or where you're at. Rereading what's going on and you're going to be leaving a situation that is no longer beneficial for you. That tower moment has been coming in for you throughout this whole read. So I want to say like really focus on what it is that you want and desire as you move through in your future. All right. Let's see what we got going on here for your Oracle read. Contract. We're rereading contracts. We're making sure that they make sense. We are also clearing spiritual contracts. There's that hostilities again. A lot of hostile energy. We're going to help with our heart space. And we are walking away. That's a been strong message for you. And following doors of opportunity that our spirit guides are bringing towards us. There is a situation that you're definitely broken hearted about. But you know you got it. You got to focus on you. You got to focus on you, baby. I got a little thing about me, Lucius. All right. Because we're going to leave behind I for something even better. Some of y'all are leaving your position. Some of y'all are going into business with your partners. Going into business with your friends, your family. Um... A business partner but it's going to work in your favor you're following your passions you're no longer afraid you know you're gonna follow your artistic flair this time let's get some final messages for Libra I was trying to shuffle them. my hands couldn't shuffle it let's see here what do we have we have nurture yourself first put yourself first Libra fix your mistakes correct them embrace your power embrace who you are choose your friends wisely and your business partners make the necessary sacrifices and back off back off don't argue don't go down that path grieve your losses and just know that something better is on the horizon for you so that's what i have for you love bug i hope you have a beautiful month if you're interested in booking any of those readings go check out my link tree and let's become besties over there on instagram take care